Okay. Gemini's, we are starting off from November with two of cups in reverse. Reverse cross are your energy, are your actions, what you do. All right. What do you really want? What you feel? All right. So two of cups in reverse and the up, uh, upside, uh, in, in, the, in, what do you call it? <laughs> Shit. What do you call it? This is the death card in upright. This is the death card in upright. Okay. Death card in upright and the moon card in upright for you. So this is external energy impacting on you coming towards you. All right. So what does this three cross actually mean? Two of cups in reverse. This is you. This is you. I feel like the first message that I'm getting over here for you, Gemini's, is that you want to pull away from someone. Okay. I know this is not a love reading. I will try to be more objective. All right. So... Oh yeah, I'm hearing partnership that you might want to just pull out and stop working with them. It's like there's a partnership that you might be in which is not serving you, uh, not serving you well, uh, not doing great, not gonna bring you uh substantial income, um, not beneficial for you. This is two of cups in reverse. Okay, so this is you wanting to pull away in a partnership can be for anything because this is general but we'll try to be more objective because for love we have got love spread so be more objective for this two of cups in reverse so it might be you wanting not that you might but i'm feeling more like the first message and the only message that i'm getting to now it is actually you wanting to pull away from a partnership you wanting to pull away from someone all right the death card in upright position immediately i'm actually hearing and i'm actually sensing that before someone pull away from you you want to pull away from them first this is a death card okay someone wants to pull out from you pull away from you okay someone wants to end a and a relationship with you when i say relationship it can be business partnership okay not like love love relationship leave the love for the later part so this death card is someone wanting uh, uh, a a type a type of relationship a type of uh collaboration that wants to end that is going to end but before it ends i feel like you want to do something to wait okay the next card is actually the moon card in upright position this moon card in upright position is about someone who is not something something or someone that's not being truthful that's not being um honest that's not generally again the same message is not serving you great okay this is the moon card in upright position all right so yeah especially if you look at this i see this crescent moon crescent moon to me are usually more uh more negative vibe like crescent because crescent is like a knife like a barn so it is something that's not something, someone, a, a, a type of relationship, a type of working partnership is not beneficial to you. In fact, it might be harming you. Like I'm hearing your reputation, your reputation will be at stake. Okay. So this is the moon in the upright position. Uh, I'm feeling like uh, a type of this relationship that you have this relationship or the partnership that you have right now is actually doing you more harm than good it is mm, it's just doing you more harm than good loose messages though but let's see whether if i get more i will come back to revisit so with these three cards together what are we seeing these are this is actually two major arcanas we have the death card and the moon card yeah, I'm actually, it is, this is the only message and it's getting stronger. Look at this death card. This death card, okay, this death card, the knight over here, this death card is going towards this. This death card is going towards this moon card to end it, to terminate something over here. Okay, to terminate is like, I've got enough of all your crap and your BS, your bullshit. So this death card over here, this knight over here on this horse is going to terminate this person, this moon over here, going to stop all, going to cut off all ties, going to cut off all the relationship, all the collaboration, okay? So this is two of cups in reverse and I'm hearing, I'm also hearing right now two of cups in reverse. This card is about you having, um, being disappointed, being disgusted, disgusted by someone's actions over here, okay? Can be at work. I'm, I'm actually seeing at work, like in a, in a workplace, in a workplace scenario, in a workplace scene, I'm seeing this like you looking at someone with disgust. Like, like how can they be how can they be doing things like that? How can they 
play dirty tricks or dirty games like that. Okay, this is the first spread that I'm getting. Uh, in terms of numerology, this is number two. There's only number two here. Death is not a number. The moon is not a number. Number two is about partnership. So again, this partnership is could be the, the partnership that you want to pull away from. Partnership or it could be someone, a lot of discussion, discussion talks, uh, discussion or talks going on you might be wanting to stop talking stop communicating with someone over here basically or it might just mean that you will you might want to you might wish to talk to someone about your current situation right now so that's number two whichever your situation is right now uh, for those who resonated with this first spread over here if you are currently in a partnership with someone and very dealing with them very closely this is maybe about you having to pull away from this partnership but if you have no one right now maybe it is a message for you to uh, talk to someone to speak with someone or to collaborate with some other uh, with another person pertaining to this tr trickery situa uh, situation this tricky tricky situation the trickery person that you might be dealing with that you might you foresee potentially to be coming towards you and doing you harm doing harm to your reputation i'm actually seeing reputation over here someone is trying to like tarnish your reputation not intentionally but certain things that they do is going to tarnish you destroy you okay the next spread what do we have Okay, the next spread, we actually have the Wheel of Fortune in an upright position, Eight of Pentacles upright position, and the Sun in an upright position. So all this card in upright position is impacting you, is working on you, the energy is working on you. So the Wheel of Fortune over here in upright position, this is, uh, this, I feel and I see good things are coming, opportunity, more like opportunity is coming towards you. The Wheel, the Wheel is changing its direction. For those of you who are not in a good place, this Wheel of Fortune in upright position is coming towards you. There might be people who are, who can be helping, who can be beneficial to you, who can help you to pull you along, uh, to advise you, basically to serve you, to be, uh, to be of advantage to you. Okay. In whatever way, like, they might be able to tell you they might have some information like i'm seeing i'm seeing and i'm hearing like information they can be sharing some information with you in like more like actually insider information i'm hearing leak leakage leakage of information so this is wheel of fortune i feel like there is someone able to come to you that's coming to you and able to tell you things tell you things that helps you to make a better decision a wiser decision or to pull you along in your current situation okay the next card we have the eight of pentacles in upright position this eight of pentacles in upright position is about you i'm hearing this first message is about you having to work uh to do a lot of groundwork to do a lot of researching to work very hard uh to sustain to maintain your current momentum all right to maintain and to sustain your current momentum keep the current tempo going okay do not make any change uh, to your current tempo whatever that you are doing right now if your life is pretty mundane like if there's nothing much in going through uh, uh going on in your life right now continue to roll with it continue to do what you are doing because i see uh there might be people uh that's coming in to bring you some uh, positive news, positive vibe, positive change. Okay, continue to do what you do. Okay, and not make any change. The next card is the sun. The next card is the sun. I'm also actually seeing this uh, eight of pentacles upright over here. Someone is working very hard behind the scene to help you to create an opportunity for you to create something for you, and it is actually um like in in a in a in a positive way okay someone is working behind the scene helping you a lot germanize okay the next card we have is the sun in upright position this sun in upright position is i am getting a few messages i'm i'm seeing some of you might be receiving a letter like letter of promotion letter of uh recommendation um this sun over here, look at this boy. This boy is coming, is coming towards you. This is in an upright position. This boy is coming towards you with positivity, with sunlight over here shining on you. This boy is gonna bring you bring you something good. Might be material or non-material, non-material as in like maybe uh 
say something to you, um, not in the form of written black and white, but this boy is going coming towards you to bring you something good. Okay. I'm actually feeling like another new opportunity. For those of you who are missing out on an opportunity who are, or who's going to cut out an opportunity, uh, a chance or whatever, this is something new on the horizon coming towards you. There's a new, whatever that you're cutting out, there will be a new replacement. There will be a new replacement. If you're cutting out a body system, there'll be new person, like a next new body uh, that can, that's helpful to you, that's more, a neutral in your current situation or if it's a workplace or business partner business collaboration this is like you're cutting out one and you're getting a new replacement soon okay there'll be a new replacement coming this is the sun in an upright position okay so there's no number over here and oh there is number eight over here again number eight i love this number eight number eight is about attracting attracting gains attracting finances attracting money uh, but generally it is about attracting gains there are gains coming towards you for you to um actually no there are gains available there are gains out there and you are able to attract you are able to attract good people um helpful people who are able to bring you um to bring you the uh bring you what what are they bringing you bring you news good news um better things better position better positioning in your life okay so number eight there's only number eight and other other than that two other cards out of three cards two cards the sun and the wheel of fortune over here these are major arcanas and this will be a drastic change with major arcanas it is a major event all right uh it might be uh not it might be i'm talking about i'm actually repeating myself it is actually a new a change a drastic change a major change um, of, of a major event of an important something that means or that is important to you okay also in the first spread we have two major arcanas with the death card and the moon card they are also major arcanas so it looks to me like germanized for some of you I feel like this is the time where you are dealing with something very crucial and important. This point in time is a very crucial time for you, uh, where it will bring you gains. It will help you to attract gains. Like it is only going to bring you towards to get you a better life, to bring you towards a better life, a better positioning in your life right now. Okay. Let's see whether if I get more messages along the way. The next spread, the third spread over here, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse, Five of Cups upright, and the Temperance in the upright position. Okay, so Seven of Swords in reverse. This is Seven of Swords, and this is Seven of Swords in reverse. So I am hearing you, I'm hearing messages that you, Gemini's, for those who resonated with the third spread over here, it is you wanting to present you have a lot to present. You have a lot to present. You wanting to present the truth. You wanting to present the facts. Okay. You do not want to go, um, go round and round. Uh, when I say going round and round, meaning to say like you want to cut straight to the point. You do not want to have any miscommunication or misunderstanding over here. This is a seven of swords. Swords are about communication, uh, information. So you are wanting to present because in the upright position, the seven of swords over here is about someone who's maybe hiding information, being like being tricky playing the trickery over here so this is in reverse so in reverse this is you what you want to do you want to be the seven of swords in reverse you want to present the full facts you want to present everything you want to not have any misunderstanding miscommunication miscom okay the next card is five of cups in an upright position so i feel like this seven of swords in reverse and the five of cups together these two are these two cards are forming up a message to me uh Looking like this five of cups, five of cups, this person, the five of cups in outright position is not having trust, faith or belief in you or is not interested in hearing more. All right. This five of cups is someone who's very focused at one point. It's like this person just nails, nails at one point and bites on one point 
and might be stubborn and refusing to listen to you. I'm actually hearing message that you should just go along with the tempo. Like if this person doesn't want to hear anything more and if this person want to harp on one point, fine, let's talk about this point over here. Like you might be having some friction or some disagreement, arguments or trying to like some in some arguments or if not, then it will be some dispute and you're trying to justify things over here. But it's like this person just harp on one specific point where you might have overlooked or you might have just uh, this that out. So instead of this that out, since this person wants to talk about this point, let's talk about this point. Okay, fine. You want to talk about this? Let's talk about this. Okay, I feel like this is what you should be doing. Okay, instead of going round and round, I just mentioned going round and round. I think this is what I want to say. Okay, the next card is the temperance in the upright position. Okay, temperance in the upright position is about balancing. It's about... This to me looks like juggling anyway. Okay, this to me looks like juggling. Look at this lady. She's trying to like pour pour the pour the water from two cups over here and she's trying to juggle she's trying to manage so the message over here that i'm actually getting from you for you over here is that you should try to manage whoever that you are dealing with the expectation uh the expectation and and also um like go along go with their way and not oppose oppose what they are trying to say, what they are trying to do. Go with it. Go with them. Allow them to do what they want to do. Okay? So let's see. Let's look at the numerology over here. We have 7 and 5. 7 and 5. That's 13. 13. Is that 5, 7? No, sorry. That's 12. 12 is 1 and 2. 1 and 2 equals to 3. 1 and 2 equals to 3. It is actually awakening. Awakening and... Um, uh, not going, remember I mentioned about not opposing. So number three is really um, about finding the best way to manage. Okay, number three is not a good number. Okay, in numerology, number three is not the best number. It's one of the number with more challenges, with more difficulty, but yet it is the time where you cannot skip a bit. You cannot miss, you cannot skip that process. It is the time where you just have to face it. You just have to deal with it. That's number three. Okay, I feel like you have to end. I'm hearing this that for some of you Gemini's, there is a process that you have to go through before it comes to an end. Do not just like disappear or just go missing or just um just cut someone out like just cutting the cord. No, you have to continue your um your communication until the end of it, until the end of it, okay? The overall general energy is seven of pentacles in upright position, okay? Seven of pentacles in upright position, this is about, typically the meaning of this card is about someone getting their gains and then now they are thinking about step two, okay? Step two, what to do next. With all these gains that I'm getting, the gains can be in a material form or non-material form like after getting information from you, like you know how sometimes in the business world we can be like we share a lot of information only to know that the client or the customers or the colleagues, your bosses are not taking up your suggestion, but they took away your idea. Okay, so this is like step two over here. So overall, your overall general energy is a lot about pondering. Um, and this is in the upright position. It can be whoever that you are dealing with, okay? General energy over here. Whoever that you are dealing with is thinking about step two. How do they deal? How do they take it on from here, okay? After getting so much from you. And yeah, they are getting so much from you. They're getting all the pentacles. Seven, seven of pentacles. They are getting quite a lot from you. Out of 10, they're getting seven, 70%. They got so much from you. Now there is step two. How do they get rid of you? How do they... um? proceed from here taking advantage of you they are thinking about how do they how much do they invest in you how do they invest in you should they even invest in you this is what the other person is thinking about the general energy it feels a lot to me like the message over here is pointing towards very one specific message where you are dealing with a situation where people might be taking advantage of you or 
wanting to take things away from you or wanting to just take credits, to take uh, knowledge, to waste your time, typically really to waste your time. I mean, not intentionally wanting to waste your time, but taking advantage of you where at the end of the day, you find that you're just wasting your time, okay? So this is the upright, in an upright position, this can be what is uh, coming towards you or it can also mean towards you impacting on you. It is, a, there is a situation here that's causing you to really ponder how much should you be giving? How much should you be giving now that you have only seven left? All right. How much more can you give? What is your capacity? How much do you, uh, how much time do you have to waste? 